Good morning. Um, just going to do a little video on something I'm going to try out. Uh, this morning I came out and I hand fertilised four pumpkins. As you can see in there, and the debris strewn around the place from the male flowers. Well, I did four this morning, and then I went down the back to do the zucchinis. But we have female flowers on the zucchinis, but no males. So, how can I fix this? I'm going to fertilize them with some pumpkin flowers. Because I hate waste in the garden. So, and I like playing mad scientist. So here we go, follow the flowers. See, we have my beautiful assistants. Queen Bee and Koo. And here we have a female zucchini flower. The little fruit underneath it, you can just see. There's the one that's getting picked this afternoon. <laughs> here you go, Kira. In you go. Yep. So Kira's just taking the male part. Rubbing it gently on the female. Um, they're both zucchini and pumpkin belong to the same family, the cucubits. So, in theory, this should work. We have done it previously on a butternut with a zucchini. We got a zoo pumpkin last year, but unfortunately, a zoo pump. Sorry, unfortunately, the fruit only grew to about four inches long, and after peeling, wasn't much left. And here is the other one. Oh no, it's up there, is it? Oh, it's up there. Yeah, Sorry about that, folks. Ah. That one? And this is the other one we have. Full of ants. Full of ants. Oh, that doesn't seem to worry. Just a quick little dab. The pollen's in there. The ants won't really worry it too much. And we're away. Sweet, I just thought I'd show you that. I like to play mad scientist. Have a good one.